Hello, I'm Tabitha Mothoni and welcome to On the Farms of Africa. This is a show that brings you various tech farming methods, trending and emerging agribusinesses in Africa. This week on the Farms of Africa, we are in Kinoka Nyariri in a quest to find out how Kienyeji or indigenous vegetables are grown. From teaching to farming, Catherine Wangare is highly fond of Kienyeji, Morenda, Saga, Muto, as well as potatoes and other crops for commercial purposes. Let's have a look at her farming story. Indigenous vegetables, also known as Kenyeji in Swahili, are very popular in Western Kenya. But today, most farmers in the country have borrowed this food culture and are happily making a living from the sales of the different types of Kenyeji. Catherine Wangare from Kino Kanyarere location in Kembo County is no exemption. Mi naguza boga, saidi ibuwa Kenyeji. Ni naguza managu, saga, terere, na mto, na murenda, tena kude. Sababu murenda, na damana na kude, na mto kwa moja. Kiyo saidi diyo na tegemea nae. Besides Morenda, Saga and Muto, which are the fastest selling indigenous vegetables, she also grows potatoes, terere or mchicha, kills, pumpkin, arrow roots and onions for commercial, medicinal and consumption purposes. Saidi mbuga ya kenyeji naenda watu wanatumia mbuga ya kenyeji sana. Saidi kama Morenda, Saga na Kude na mto. Diamua kupanda sababu niliona inapendwa sana na nikaona vile wanapenda hiyo kitu wanapenda ni kitu kizuri hata mimi hiyo ndio nakula ugali naye. Sikuragi buga ingine kama hii masiku masikuru na sio kukataa naweza kuweka lakini saidi nikikula na hizo mboga za watu wa western naona ndio na tena nasikia nguvu. Sasa hii ndio murenda mm -hmm. na iko na mwezi mmoja na nusu. Mm -hmm. Ikifikisha miezi mbili itakuwa tayari. Hata sasa naweza kuiuza na una hiyo. Lakini naona badala ya kuuza iwe kumbwa kidogo manake unaona hapa ina shoot. Nafuja hii hivi alafu na bakisa hii. Sasa hii tena ita shoot tena. Iendelee yeah. kukua. Yeah. Mm. Lakini kisha kwa kubwa unaweza ingoa yote uuze ama uweze ukangoa yote. Yeah. Sasa zingine unakuwa na hitaji ya unahitaji begu yeah. na hii ndio itakupatia begu. Okay. E, kwa hivyo lazima uache moja yeah. au kasehemu kadogo yeah. ndio ikupatie begu. Lakini kama unaiasha ya mbegu, lasi mauwe unatoa hii sakazi. Unauza kwa mboga. Kienyeji requires loam or sandy soil that is well drained. And any natural farm manure could also be used. Ukidig, unaspread the soil, unaweka borea, una, unaweka mbegu kama seed bed. Arafu kama uko na manyua unaweza kuwekelea juu. Manyua inagali? Yoyote tu. Hmm. lakini kama huna inakaa hivyo kama sasa hii haina maniwa yoyote but it can still grow it can still grow hmm. Hmm. weeds are a big enemy to the crops they almost look similar but with a very slight difference imejionyesha manake ukiangalia hii murenda matawi yake na ya hii weeds haipanani sasa hii ndio inaitwa mto Nae mto ni kama murenda tu inatoa sakas unafuja ikikuwa kubwa unapakisa hiyo ingine, inaendelea lakini nae si ni, ni moja mboga ya kienyeji na inapendwa sana na inakuliwa pamoja na kude na mto pamoja unashanganya na hata unaweza kuweka kwa mboga yoyote sasa kama unataka kungua unaweza kungua tu na muna hii lakini mimi na goja yaka inakuwa kubwa Jio nikikata hapa naona kuna saka zibiti sasa hii inatoka. Hii saka zinaendelea kukua. Na hiyo naenda kula kula mboga. For every kienyeji, Wangare has put aside a seed bearer that provides her with seeds which cuts down on costs for buying new ones from the local agricultural store. Sasa hii ndio muto. Hii imekoma. Hii kitu ndio inatoa mbegu. Saidi ikiendelea kutoka kutoka na ngoa nafunja hii alafu inaendelea kushuti ndio inipatie mbegu. Sasa hii ndio mbegu yake. Na ndizo hizi zote. Ikikoma sasa hii ndio mbegu yake. 
sasa hii nae ni saga saidi siedi kununua saga nikiona sasa imekoma na achilia na kuachilia inatoa mbegu narudi na kausha alafu narudisha tena sasa hii ndio mbegu yake lakini hii iko na hadui nyingi sana ndege sinakula sana kwa hivyo inataka kama unaona imekoma unaweka vitu juu kama makaratasi hivi unafunika ndio ifanye nini ndio mbegu isikuliwe na ndege sasa hii ndio mbegu ya saga yenyewe ni kidogo sana lakini kama sasa hii nilikuwa nimewaka nimewacha ya mbegu lakini naonekana imekuliwa na ndege lakini hata ikibaki kidogo ndio nitakausha nimwage tena saga naye unapanda tu vile unapanda hizi eh haina tofauti bado pia hizo zinachukua miezi miwili hii karibu miezi mitatu hivi hii ni terere na kwa nini umeponda tu moja pekee yake ilikuwa nyingi ni kabakisha hii ya begu na mbegu yake ina toka aje sasa hii ndio mbegu sasa ikikoma mm. itatan kala kala itakuwa brown wow mm ala ndio yeah. najua imekoma kwa hivyo ikitan brown unatoa tu na, alafu na nafuja hapa mm. nafujia hapa mm. alafu nikifuja naenda naanika pahali mm. alafu inakauka kabisa mm. napiga natoa mbegu Mm. Lafu mbegu unapanda tu kama vile unapanda maharagwe ama Mhm -mm. ni kumwaga tu kama seed bed lakini hiyo ni kungoa utangoa mm. Haikai sana hapana mm. Kama miezi tatu hivi miezi tatu ndio inaweza kuwa imekoma Unatuseme kama unataka kuuzia mtu hii mbegu ya terere mm. utamuuzia aje Sijawahi uza mm -hmm. isipokuwa mtu akiniomba na mpatilia kama kijiko moja anaenda na jisaidia naye oh. sijawahi Pumpkin seeds do not germinate in cold soil, a reason as to why they do well in most dry areas of the country. They take about 95 to 120 days to mature. Wangare also does value addition on our potatoes, which are also surplus on her daily consumption. Yes, you keep and Saidi to inaenda na miezi tatu kukua kumachua. Lakini naye kupanda kwake lazima ukate mitaro, uweke mbolea, alafu uanguze viazi, funike, sasa uanze itoke. Ikitokezea ndio naanza kufalilia safari ya kwanza. Kama hizi nimefalilia safari ya kwanza, ilikuwa nangojea safari ya pili, nifalilie. Ndio niweke mchanga, manake vile unaipatia mchanga mingi ndio na inaendelea kukua kubwa na inaendelea kuza mazao mengi. Hivyo aina mbili. Niko na hii ya white na tena niko na ingine hii inaitwa sangi. Sangi ndio hii iko na papo. Hii ingine nyeupe tunaita kwa kikuyu nderashiana. Yaani inalea watoto manake inakuwa upesi sana. Ukipanda hii na upande hii ingine, hii ya white inatoka haraka sana. Na tunaipatia njina nderashiana. Sababu inalea watoto saidi. Hii inaitwa sangi. Naye ni nzuri si baya. Hii viazi iko na adui nyingi sana. Kwaje saidi ile adui mkubwa ni, ni baridi. Na tunapiga dawa inaitwa blight. Sasa unaona kama hii tawi yake hii tayari hii imeabukishwa na hiyo. Sasa ukiona hii matawi hailingani sababu ina hii inaonekana imepigwa na hiyo baridi lakini hii bado lakini hata sasa auto hata ukipiga hiyo dawa hakuna kukusaidia itakusaidia sababu inatakaka ipigwe ndawa wakati ile imeanza kutoa maua saa ile iko karibu kutoa kama sasa tuseme kama kama hii kama ningekuwa na, na dawa ningekipiga ikitoka namna hii sasa haingepata na hii ugonjwa sikukua na dawa sasa nikaachilia tu vile nilikuwa nadhania nitapata mafuno haitakuwa na mafuno mingi sababu imechomeka tayari itatoa tu lakini haitakuwa nono tutakuwa tudogo ni yenyewe iko na viazi lakini haita vile nilikuwa natarajia itasaa iwezi ikatoa wadu kiasi ile napenda e, lakini itanisaidia tu kwa upande wa kukula saa zingine inanipatia faida lakini ile faida napata ni kidogo manake niko na kakiosi kihapo saa ile shule inafunguliwa na jaribu kupiga tu chipsi kuuza kuanzia 10 20 hivi 
lakini inakuwa nzuri viazi ikikua yako lakini ya kununua hairudishi Arrow roots go hand in hand with potatoes even though they take a longer time of about 6 months to fully grow Unlike other vegetables that she grows, Kenyeji do not easily succumb to diseases, although Wangare has faced other farming challenges. Challenges ni nyingi manake kama wakati wa kiangazi hatupati maji. Lakini hapa kwangu kuna maji na simba mashimu. Mungu amenijalia nikapata mashine ya water pump na piga na hiyo. Lakini wakati wa kiangazi kini ubaya, mtu hana pesa ya mafuta sasa unaona uko nyuma tu. Hii kazi nimefanya kwa miaka mingi manake tabu nianze kazi ile nilikuwa nafanya ndio nimeanza kulima. Lakini niko na tatizo moja. Sina kapito sasa naguza tu kitu kidogo kidogo. Serikali yetu inaweza kutujali ya ingalau iwe ikitusaidia na madawa na begu tunaweza kulima. Tunaweza kulima na hata hata kama ni pesa ya kukopa kituko pesa, watambie tuwe tukirudisha tunaweza naweza kushikana watu alafu tujiunge kama kikundi hivi vile tunalima hapa tukijiunga hiyo kikundi tunaweza tu kusaidika sababu tutakuwa tukilima tukiuza tunarudisha pesa the best market begins right from the doorstep of your house the vegetables can go for as little as 5 shillings for a small bunch or fist of your hand mimi na usaka tu kwa hii local market kama mudhurwa kangeni nakawangwari au nauzia watu wa kukula hapa nyumbani practicing farming for over 30 years now wangare has indeed lived up to this venture vimenisomesha mtoto akamaliza form 4 my last born alafu huyu mwingine wengine wa jukuu wangu wamemaliza form 4 pia na ni hiyo imewasomesha mimi ile kitu nikesema na ningependa nipendeni niambie wakulima wale tuko nayo wakulima dogo waendelee kulima na waendelee kuweka kusaganya hizi mboga sababu hata tukienda kwa mahospitali tunaambiwa tukule mboga ya kienyeji saidi ina inasaidia mili na mboga kwanza ni mmoja ile kitu muhimu katika chakula zile tunakula maana yake inatusaidia kwa afya yetu If we all incorporated these indigenous vegetables into our diet, such illnesses will be kept at bay as well as promoting the indigenous farming sector for smallholder farmers in the country. That's all we had prepared for you today, but tune in again next week where we get to explore more areas in the agribusiness sector. From me, Tabitha Muthoni and the entire On the Farms of Africa team, have a lovely week.